Let's talk about the NBA draft. Big news. Craig, history is, well, it's not made technically yet, but the Lakers draft. Brian Dalton Connect. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did get drafted, but no one cares about that kid. <laughs> the kid who might actually play. <laughs> the hell with him. But they drafted Bronny James, who was going to play alongside his pops, LeBron James, of course. Salute. And some people is happy about this. Some people got some pushback about this. How do you feel about this, Craig? Is this an example of nepotism, or is this rich privilege? I think it's an example of both, and I think it's a great thing on both behalves because it's black nepotism and it's black rich privilege. So if that's what is that's what it is, then we taking that because uh, everybody else, I don't even want to single out and say no other race because everybody else does this. And these is the things that we are saying that we need to be doing for our people. And when somebody get the opportunity and the chance to do it, now we want to be mad or be jealous, which is the problem low key, which is another thing we need to talk about as a black people and get therapy as a, for as a whole. Because why are we mad because somebody doing something we didn't do? Is it somebody more deserving? Yeah, somebody else did deserve to have a, a superstar NBA dad to get they not so good in the NBA. You also did deserve that. I deserved it too. I deserve for Method Man to have been my dad. I already looked it up. His last name is Smith. Now, I deserve that so I could be a great rapper too and nepotism could feed. I should be Craig Guns, but I'm not, okay? <laughs> so that's just the way the, the way the world works. That's how the cookie crumbles and you can't be mad at LeBron for putting his son on. Like, for real, I'm so happy to see them. I don't care if LeBron go to, I mean, Bronny go to the G League eventually. Let him play one, two, three, four, five games with his dad so they can make history and they can go down in the books that a son and father played on some Ken Griffey stuff in the NBA. And I'm happy to see that happen. And, yeah, I like the way they gangstered it, too. You bet not draft him or he going to Australia, you're going to waste the pick. So don't do it. Call all, 20, all the 27 other teams. Hey, that was crazy. As as the resident LeBron hater, I don't got no problem with it, bro. I agree, Craig. I think it's both. And to the same points, it is black rich privilege. Shout out to black rich people, bro. Like Craig said, this is what this been going on in regular life. Forget the NBA. This goes on in jobs all the time. I had a job where everybody in upper management was the sons, nieces, nephews, daughters. No one's going to say anything. People is getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they don't even be doing nothing, bro. This goes on in every walk of life. This goes on in the NBA. Giannis' brother is trash, bro. He is trash. And he out there eating, getting championship rings and a whole nine. Are we really going to act like Brooke and Robin Lopez are good, bro? Come hold on. on, hold on. I'm going to stop you there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. My list keep going, Craig. You're going to let me cook. Brooke and Robin kind of good. No, 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 no. At no. least Brooke is. Brooke is good. Robin is still in the league because he's Brooke's brother. <laughs> okay. That's what I mean. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay, even okay. If you got, even if you got great players, Clay Thompson, you don't think Clay dad being who his dad was played a part into Clay getting into the NBA, bro? Clay wasn't in college just toasting stuff. People, You ain't know who Clay was in, in uh, college. I know Steph was in college either. Exactly. You don't oh, think, wow, you damn, don't think, that was your point. That's my point. <laughs> you don't think Dale Curry being Steph's dad, you know what I'm saying? And Steph was good, but Steph with the Davison. I didn't think about that. Golden That's State was a team of nothing, a babies. Team of, Day. Only person hey. that ground his way there was Draymond. Shout out to Day Day. The most gangster <laughs> dude there. That's why he was out there you know, fighting. That's why they had Day Day on the team. We got to have need, at least one real one out need, here. They, oh somebody somebody who need, didn't have black privilege that was rich privilege. Yeah. Day Day is Day Day from the hood. Day Day from the nickel, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Day Day from Saginaw, where I'm from. Oh, like, I you can tell. You don't have to tell us. We know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. But you know what I'm shout saying? Shout out to Clay, though. He just went to Dallas. Yeah, shout out to Clay. Um, But, but back, back to my whole point, though, about like, I'm with you. As a LeBron hater, bro, I feel like LeBron did what he should have did, and that was be a good dad. As a good dad, we all make choices, hopefully for our kids, to have an easier path than we had. You still Now, I would be on, on the, uh, the opposite side of this and say this. It's still your job as a father to make sure your kids earn it and make sure they work towards it and they work hard. But if I got the plug, mm -hmm. I got the plug. 
LeBron is the plug, and so is Bronny's uncle. Because Rich Paul is essentially Bronny's uncle. Yeah. You don't think they're going to get together and plug in their son and their nephew, bro? Of course they're going to do it. And if you upset about that, that's just because you're a failure in life and who couldn't do it for your kids. Because <laughs> if you if you can do it for your kids, bro, you're going to do it. Hey. I, I don't care. You're going to do it. Except Shaq. Because Shaq said, he told his kids, they said something like, well, you know, it don't matter if I make it or not because I'm rich anyway. And Shaq told his kid, I'm rich. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> low key. Rich. Low key, shout out to uh Mike too. Mike didn't uh help none of his kids in there. And he could I know he could have. You know he could Hey, but LeBron though, he might be taking over the best the he might be taking over the GOAT spot for me. And that, you know, as an old man, I don't wanna let that I don't wanna take Jordan from that spot. But I might have to give that to LeBron just for how gangster this year is because you just got to realize he went to the Lakers, took over the Lakers, got them one championship, yelled at I everybody. I think Saginaw coach fired Darvin. Ham fired. Oh, he from Saginaw? Yeah, bro. Oh, I didn't know that. Shout out to Miss Ham, too, and his sister, man. I went to school with his sister. Oh, that's wild. They do not like that guy. So, uh. <laughs> Ain't on the real one, bro. <laughs> Hating on the real one. He should have been like Draymond. Start slapping some people. <laughs> See, hey. see if, 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 if they they was hey. in LA, I bet you hey. Brown would have been talking crazy about Darvin, though. What if it's a clip of <laughs> Darvin Ham just rocking Austin Reeves? <laughs> hey, Dark, Dark, Darvin, Darvin took a bullet before, bro. Darvin a tough dude. Darvin ain't no chump. Low key, Darvin Ham looked like somebody who don't play. Yeah, Darvin ain't no chump. Bro. He looked like somebody that I wouldn't mess with. But anyway, um. Yeah, like how gangsta right, was. Taking, it has been like six coaches fired. You right, bro. It's yeah, LeBron be getting taking bad. over, taking over the Lakers. Hey, bring my guy over here. He gonna we about to do a pod and run the uh, Lakers, and then do a pod about the season as we do it. That's what we doing. Don't rush me. I know he not doing the pod, but it's funnier the other way. And um, also bring my uh, son over too. You know, my son gonna play for me. We we all in here, gang, gang. But let's keep it a give buck. All, give Anthony Davis the extension. <laughs> but Brian, this is the thing. People people making a big deal of it now. Brian been doing this his whole career. When when remember that year when Brian them had D Rose, they had uh D Wade. Was it D Rose? Not D Rose. It was, I was D Wade. Say, he ain't never played with D Rose. It was D Wade. Um it was Are you talking Cavs. about Cleveland? Cavs. Yeah. yeah he had, I, wasn't Derrick Rose? It was somebody else that was there too, bro. Didn't Darvin Ham play on Cleveland with him? No, 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 no. But he played against them though. Yeah, he played against him. Probably right. Darvin was on the books. But that's why that's why LeBron didn't respect him. He's like, I cooked you when we was playing, bro. I am not about to listen to you. But LeBron ain't respect. That none was a of, terrible hot. The point I'm Oh, he, he cooked JJ no, too. LeBron ain't never respect none of these people. LeBron gets what he wants, bro. Every stop, it don't matter if you get there. He don't like you. You're getting traded, bro. It don't matter. He didn't got coaches fired. This is what LeBron do. So for you to get upset that Bron Rose was there. Thanks, John. If you are the type of person now to get upset that LeBron has came to L.A. and took it over, then you don't know what LeBron does at every stop, which is why LeBron actually left Miami because my he was trying to get the control in Miami, and, and Pat Riley told Riley. him, hey, bro, you play ball, bro. I do this. You're not going to come in here telling me to get rid of Spokesman. You're not going to come in here telling me who to trade. who to. That's what you're not going to do. Yeah. Pat Riley told him, hey, bro, you don't control this. And he went back to Cleveland. Mm -hmm. So, like, this is what LeBron's been doing at every stop he's been at. And this stop, he just got told, like, hey, bro, Whatever you need, your son got him. You want AD? Let's trade everybody. We don't think about all the players that they traded for AD. If, would the Lakers be a better team if they still had Randall, Lonzo, Clarkston, um, what Brandon Ingram? They had all D'Angelo Russell. They had all these young players there. If they would have let these players develop, Caruso, all them. LeBron came in there, clinked out the whole house. I want AD. Get rid of everybody else. And I know why. I know why they listen too. Yeah. Shout out to Genie Bus. Mm -hmm. So uh You and your Genie Bus love, bro. What? You you've been you've been flirting with Genie a little bit, bro. I ain't been flirting with Genie for nothing. <laughs> but when I get the chance to, I will. <laughs> like when I get the chance to, oh you trust you me. I might start shooting. Hey, I'll shoot a couple hoops. <laughs> hey, if you like basketball players, I'll be right out there in your driveway shooting in the morning. And it's cool. Catch me out there. Yeah, I'm with you, Shane. MJ is going to be the GOAT. 